Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of uh, powerelectronicsnews.com and welcome to PCIM showing uh, in Nuremberg. Today I have the pleasure to be here together with uh, Andreas Mangler, Director of Strategic Marketing at uh, Rutronic. Hi Andreas, how are you? Hi. Good to see you yeah. and uh, welcome aboard. Thank you for the invitation, yeah. Thank you, it's thanks good. a lot uh, for being here. So we are at PCIM, so yeah. I'm curious to know what's news from uh, Rutronic, which solutions are you showing? Oh, we have uh, prepared several solutions. Um, um, I think one of um, our major topic is our uh, our own designs, um, okay. uh, and um, uh, maybe you've seen it's also also our booths. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, inside our new Rotonic System Solution Group, we are designing and inventing really um, latest technology okay. with as a proof concept. So one of our topics are the. Uh, uh, the latest design of our hybrid energy storage system, where we're combining uh, super caps with um, um, with uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, this is a three-phase um, interleaved bidirectional DC DC converter okay. um, with um, a very specific DIDT sensor to measure the rising time of the load current to switch between battery and super okay. caps. This is one thing. Another topic is our the system solutions um, based on our uh, Rotonic design kits, um, based on uh, uh, together with our so-called adapter boards, uh, sensing different sensings. Uh, for example, also base, um, basic um, boards for our sensor fusion electronic nose, okay. where we can detect uh, different things uh, around the um, the power electronics. Um, yeah, second is uh, we have uh, a new design with our um, high um, voltage um, e fuse. Okay. Uh, this is a, a new design where we, uh, which we designed together with our partner Vishay. Okay. Um, uh, with the silicon carbide e fuse, and we assume or we think that this will become a standard in the future, really a solid state e fuse, instead of. Uh, an EMAC relay type yes. of, um, of e fuse. Um, yeah, these are one small term is plus uh, uh, motor control as, it, as its best, um, um, based also on our software, which we offer also in, on GitHub uh, uh, in Rotonic. Uh, so, this only a few things, but of course, we have a lot of uh, uh, new. New stuff on, on, on our on our Great, booth. great. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, electrification. So electrification is uh, is a big topic for sure with different subtopics, but also with different challenges. So I can mention fast charging. I can mention uh, long range or range anxiety. So it depends on from what point of view. Uh, advancements in terms of powertrain, in terms of uh, infrastructure, but also human factor. So mentality maybe to change with the electric vehicle. How do human factors and user experience consideration in this case influence the priority when you are doing advancement infrastructure, powertrain, increase efficiency. So uh, which should prioritize we prioritize yeah. for EV adoption because we need electric vehicles. Yeah, the human, as you mentioned, the human factors are very, very important, and also how to cover the market. What will the, how, uh, let me say, will be how open is the market yeah. uh, for um, different um, payment services, for different um, uh, type of of connectors. Um, how how open will be the OEMs in the future? Right. And also a question, and also this is the question in all in Europe in general, how or how big will be the investments for the infrastructure? Right. And there is, of course, uh, also a threat in, in all the local markets, um, um, how, how to solve the things, uh, and then especially with the, let me say, pending um, decision inside the European Union and European com uh, community in, in general. So there are some threats for the markets, but I am absolutely um, convinced that there will be a change, a change also in the mindset. Yes. Um, and also, there is one th big thing which we which we need to consider in this case is um, the the big investments of all the power semiconductor on the power components 
companies, as you see here on the, uh, in the show in PCIM. Um, there are huge investments, how to bring more efficiency, you know, how, uh, how to improve the power density. And uh, to be honest, I've never seen, and, and I had the chance today also to walk through the halls, and um, I never seen such huge, good development in new technology, in, okay. in uh, smaller designs, more efficiency, without fans, without, um, without heat sink. And this is a clear trend. And now we are, I think, in a in a um, in in a stadium in a in a, in a state yep. where we are say, okay, this this okay. is the next big step, and this will uh, we are ready for the future. And uh, I'm really happy also to see that in uh, at the different um, semiconductor suppliers with their SIG and with their GAN roadmap, um, and uh, this uh, looks really really good. And I think we are in general ready ready for the future yeah again and silicon carbide both for yeah. uh, for electrification so let's talk about um, battery battery in electric vehicles so um, in terms of uh, advancement that would shape the future of battery analysis so there is uh, a lot of an array of topics that we can we can talk so i can take i can say novel design approach i can say battery analysis management thermal management so how might the integration of advanced battery analysis techniques and diagnostic could uh, reshape the landscape, the field of electric vehicles uh, um, performance, but also reliability that is another topic in the next years or in the coming decade? Yeah, I think we are, um, we are reaching our, in general, in our, uh, uh, in our learning curve, mm -hmm. let me say, uh, yes. in terms of how to handle the battery quite um, a good state. Uh, on the one hand, you know, in the past, um, when we think about the, the old e-vehicles, yep. let me say old, uh, maybe five years ago, we talk about Coulomb counters as a, a state of health estimator and things like that. Um, but also now we are coming more and more see how we live the with the big data, how we live with the fleet management, how to imp integrate fleet management data in uh, in the algorithms. This is one thing to to work with these data and to get a better picture of the complete fleet. Um, but also uh, in addition to to the data analysis of the fleet management, the impedance analysis, the, uh, the AC and the DC impedance analysis uh, and to get there also um, the best in class state of health um, analysis is one thing. On the other side, then additional to, to increase the, um, uh, the, the reliability and also the security of the system, uh, we see more and more thermal or best-in-class thermal management. We have the background in the European industry. We know that from the combustion engine. So the know-how, how to deal in a perfect matter uh, with thermal management of systems, the know-how is, is there, or is liquid cooling, air cooling, yeah. whatever. So um, this is also but it's an, important, an important technology, even if it's in the background, but uh, it helps us to keep the battery in a, in a safe mode. Um, and uh, so we see also f uh, further investigations, and it's also what we're doing, uh, what we are doing uh, with our research universities, our partner universities, more investments um, in the state of health analysis. Um, Great. Plus, uh, new approaches uh, with inductive sensors uh, to, to make ultra-fast analysis. So there are several new approaches from the, um, from the design and now it's getting, you know, um, from standard to advanced battery management systems. And uh, so um, we are uh, really happy then that we have now, uh, we are really on the right track also as a European uh, Exciting uh, company. Uh, Exciting time. So, Andreas, last last question. So, looking forward. So, l let's see other other trends, other innovation. You mentioned also wide band gap. What do you see like the next big trend innovation in power electronics market in general, particularly emerging technologies that could be game changers. You mentioned again silver bite. I can add gallium oxide. Maybe it's too early, but uh, additionally, which consideration company should keep in mind 
take care to stay competitive in the market. That is important, but also to capitalize on these trends, mm -hmm. on these uh, exciting developments. I think there's, uh, in terms when we talk about ban white GAN, yes. uh, band cap, there is no way out. We will have in the future GAN and silicon carbide. In some cases, we will have in one design a combined for the high voltage part and for the lower voltage part, silicon uh, carbide and, and gallium nitride. But what's, what's also interesting, what I learned um, also here in, mm -hmm. on the show, is that there are huge investments in the module makers uh, for yeah, right. silicon carbide. Right. right. Um, and But also it was one of my questions to the designers. I had uh, some chance to, to, to the uh, module designers, but also talking to the silicon carbide designers. Mm -hmm. Where is the threshold between um, uh, between single um, discrete devices on silicon carbide versus the modules? Nice and, point. And, that, and that's a, I think the important question, because with the uh, with the uh, uh, discrete devices. There is a huge flexibility in design, yes. in the form factors, and uh, but also uh, you have a lot of parasitics inside, um, uh, which you have to deal with, and you have to solve there or find there some uh, solutions. And, and um, um, but and this is uh, and what also what is important: how will be the value chain on the mm -hmm. supply, the value and supply chain of the silicon carbide between the module makers, the, between the the discrete solutions, and what will be the choice of our customers? Uh, flexibility, try to do it by their own, or switching to to modules? Um, this will be a very interesting question in the near future. Yes. And um, all, I'm we are looking forward for some answers. Um, and uh, But also, there's a lot to do also with, with For with design in support to um, to deal with discrete solutions, but also to find the uh, discrete solutions in terms of uh, drivers and and um, and discrete solutions. So, yeah, um, there are a lot of players here. Um, interesting uh, approaches, um, but I currently I got no answer. From, uh, yeah, let's see. So I, I will investigate this uh, discrete versus module like yeah. uh, limit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Andreas. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, Martin. Nice, footy, insightful interview. And uh, see you next. Enjoy PCM. Okay. Thank you. See, see Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget the powerelectronicsnews.com. Thanks.